Hi, I'm Brad, Double D Trailers. Thanks for taking your time to allow me to share some information with you regarding this bumper pull three horse slant load with dress. I'm going to be looking up and down as I narrate this video for us. We'll go ahead and get started right now. Again, this is a bumper pull three horse slant. It is the safe tack and uh, I want to show you uh, exactly how the safe tack operates. We added a short ramp on the back of this one. I like the fact that it's mounted uh, down low so the pivot point makes it for a, a really low incline and it really reduces the risk of uh, your horse slipping as he walks up into the trailer. So if we take a look at what Lindsay's doing here, and I'm going to stop right here, most uh, slant load trailers your horses have to load in the door to the right. And unfortunately, oftentimes a horse doesn't like to load in that door. Uh, it creates a lot of claustrophobia, raises the stress level, the heart rate, things of that nature. And then also, when you and your horse try to get up inside of this last stall, there's not enough room for you in there. So it does create a safety hazard for yourself while you're trying to load. Now take a note of this. Lindsay's just doing this one hand operation. It's very well balanced. Even if it's fully loaded with tack, it doesn't make any difference. She's latching the door in the open position. And now you can see, you know, the entire back of the trailer is open and available uh, for loading and unloading. So we'll just continue right on here. The saddle compartment is quite convenient. It comes standard with three saddle racks and three bridle hooks. This particular customer, or this trailer rather, we added uh, a blanket bar. We also added a brush tray. Now the floor of the saddle compartment, um, it is a fully enclosed floor, so you can throw items in the, in the bottom and you don't have to worry about those rolling out. There's an air vent up at the top which allows uh, air to move freely, and so it prevents your tack and gear from creating or having mildew rather. Now most slant load trailers, or three horse slants uh, rather, only have two partitions to separate the horses. You'll, know we have an, you'll notice we have an extra divider on this trailer and the purpose for that is so once you open the back doors of your trailer up, uh, you don't have to worry about a horse trying to back out on top of you. So it's very safe uh, when you get ready to unload Horses are oftentimes, they're quite antsy, you know, they weigh 1,100 pounds. So that sheer force of a guy trying to come out on top of you there. And of course, uh, even in loading, uh, it just works so much better. But when you get ready to unload, if your horse is standing in here, you have opportunity to, if you follow the, the pointer here, you can walk up to his head, uh, kind of get him calmed down, so to speak, unlatch the trailer tie. And then you have the protection of the divider between you and your horse all the time. And you're sort of standing about midway of your horse's body rather than at his back feet. Uh, so you, it really reduces the risk of getting kicked. Whereas on a straight load, you may be uh, trying to unlatch a butt bar and you're right at your horse's leg. So uh, the opportunity to get kicked is greater there. Now, we always do as a standard feature on the safe tack, the tubular see-through head divider. You'll notice uh, it just allows a lot more light and air to flow through your trailer. And light is very important because it reduces uh, stress. It helps uh, keep your horses calm when they can see through. And that's very, that's just important. We added a uh, front stall storage partition on this trailer that is an option that's not standard a lot of folks want to use this front area for storage maybe you're hauling two horses in the back and you want to go camping and throw some tables or chairs or or hay or, or whatever you may want to do and that front storage partition simply keeps items from rolling back underneath your horse's feet and it's often referred to as a stud gate so if you do have horses that tend to fight or a stud you could put your guy up front and uh, this would help to prevent that and you could even haul a small horse or a, you know a miniature or something in that front stall Lots of padding all the way around. It is handmade padding. Notice the size of the windows. Again, it's very light. That's why the uh, interior color of the trailer is white because white reflects a lot of light. 
Uh, on this particular safe bump roof, you'll notice it has the Z-frame dividers molded right into the roof. And I want to pause a second there. Our older um, safe bump roof, if you've seen some of the other videos, I really like that roof. The downfall was in a rollover situation. We didn't have quite enough structural supports. And then also the fact that it was put together in pieces or panels rather. Every four feet we had a seam and anytime we have a seam it's just an opportunity for something to uh, leak in the future. And so now this is a fiber composite roof. It is one piece truly molded. And the fact that it's built in a mold, there are no seams in it whatsoever. And so it cannot leak. And it's self-insulating and it's also white. So it reflects a lot of heat. It's very cool on your horses, which is what we're looking for. If a guy were to rear up in between the structural supports, it's very forgiving on your horse's head. So it does maintain the safe bump uh, roof process there. And then, of course, just uh, the vents throughout the roof. So I love the new safe bump. And we do have the safe kick wall system on here, which is not rubber. It's a 95% plastic and a 5% rubber. So it, ha it has some give and it'll flex in case a horse kicks that. Uh, and it's much more safe than just a rubber sided trailer because on a rubber side, you have to have a hard backing plate and uh, it does have a hard wall there. So Lindsay's just demonstrating how this works. We added rumber floor in this trailer. And again, rumber is a, it's made from recycled tires. It's basically a solid rubber product. It's tongue and groove. You can't really see it from the photos, but one board sort of snaps into the board beside it. Uh, it's also grooved on top. So it has some ridges to it to prevent your horses from sliding down. And the big advantage of rumber from a horse's perspective, is it certainly the coolest, transfers the least amount of heat, noise, and vibration, just a very comfortable floor. And from your perspective, notice there are no mats in here. So um, if you've ever had to pull a stall mat out of a trailer to, uh, to clean it out, you'll really appreciate the rumber floor because mat, a mat is not needed. This trailer does have some options on it. Uh, the rear load light is uh, is an add-on. This saddle compartment just works so great. Uh, once you get your horses inside, you know you can just close that door up. Uh, one thing to point out, I did have some folks to ask. See, you can stop your saddle compartment. It'll it'll rotate 270 degrees, and so if you want to stop it at about a 180 or what have you, maybe you're you're really short and you can't quite reach that top saddle rack or what have you. You could, uh, you could rotate it around and stop it at this position, open up the door. You can stand on the ramp or even stand in the back of the trailer. So it's not pertinent that you swing that all the way around each time to use it. The latches are, uh, they're a one hand operation as well. Lindsay's just unlatching the door hold back, which is standard on all of our doors. We went ahead and added a window in here just for some extra light and airflow. Now pay particular, did you see that? Let's look, yeah. One, one hand, <laughs> one hand she lifts up that ramp. So it's very easy to operate. And of course with a ramp load, uh, we don't have um, uh, nearly as much potential for a horse skinning a leg. All right, we're going to jump and watch one more video here. Oh, sorry. There we go. All right, so this is just an outside view of the trailer. We work with our window supplier. The latches used to be up at the very top, and they were, uh, they were difficult to reach. And you can see Lindsay just sort of walks right up to this trailer, and she can easily reach it. She's probably about five foot. Uh, one five foot two and uh, she just lays that down with one hand uh, the bars and the window fold independent of each other and the mechanism is right in the center so it's easy to operate and I believe on these windows she'll probably just leave the bar up the window will slide. So in the winter months, if you prefer to just slide that window as opposed to laying it down, you can certainly do that. 
we have tie loops. Uh, there are extra loops on this trailer, but typically one tie per horse on the outside. Grab handle, so if you want to step up on the side of the trailer, on the on the fender, and maybe drop some feed down into a feed bag if you add that on, it's easy to do that. Now take a look at this. One hand, and she picks up the entire window. Yeah, so it, it works great. Uh, the front stall escape door is an option that's not a standard feature. We did go ahead and double latch or, or double um, just an extra safety latch, which is right here. And the purpose of that latch, a lot of folks don't do that, but I like it because it, it just, you know, you can imagine an 1,100 pound guy and the only thing we have holding him in is a chest bar or maybe this little camper door or paddle latch here. And so this bar latch will prevent a leg from going through at the bottom or uh, if a guy were to you know, play with that door latch and get it open. So uh, I like having a double latch or an extra safety precaution on that. Okay, and we're just showing uh, the chest bar here and how that front stall escape door operates. All right, fantastic. And then the last video, and this is only about 45 seconds here, uh, the windows in the front. We, uh, we have a new style window so that uh, in, the, in the older days, the windows would slide to allow airflow to come through. And unfortunately, in a driving rain, you can imagine if you're running 60 miles an hour and it's raining, it's a 60 mile an hour rain. So uh, the wind can actually blow the gasket a little bit to allow water in. The new style window, you won't have that problem. They crank out from the bottom, still allowing the air to come through, which is the goal. Uh, also, if you added a window in your bulkhead wall, you could actually see through those windows into the horse area, uh, but it should eliminate that water going through. Again, the door hold back, we added an extra light on the outside here, which I really like. The graphics, you can choose the uh, the style of the graphic, which is here, you can choose the color of your graphic. There's no extra cost for that. And you'll notice the roof rail. Now, the top of the trailer is always going to be white, but the roof rail, just the curved portion right here, we can match that to your tow vehicle at no additional cost, or we can match it to the color of your graphic. And the chassis would be the same color as the roof rail. That's the chassis, meaning the, the structural part of the area around the back doors. Uh, and also up around the jack area. Okay, that's all of that. Uh, we're going to look at just a couple more on the inside on some photos here. We added a water tank in this trailer, and this is a 30 gallon. It fits uh, snugly up in the corner. You can attach a garden hose, just any garden hose fitting you know, from Lowe's or Home Depot to get water back out. It's gravity feed. Works great to be able to water your horses when you, when you just don't have any water. The walkthrough door to the horse area, that's always going to be standard on our Double D trailers and the safe tag. And a walkthrough door works fantastic if you're going to do some camping or really just want to get into that back area. It prevents you from having to walk all the way around the trailer to do so. We added some extra bridle hangers inside of the dress and also added some carpet on the wall which I really like. It keeps your bridles from scratching up the wall. Uh, also keeps a lot of you know clank 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 while you're driving down the road which can really be a nuisance to a horse in the back. So the carpet would prevent that. Lindsay's just showing how the ramp operates, which we've, we've already seen those items. There's a close-up of the door hold back. And we've seen most of this in the video. Your saddle compartment does have a light in there. Uh, these I really like. It's a poly type or a plastic material, so you don't have metal on metal. It's plastic on plastic, for lack of a better term. It's some sort of polymer, but uh, it's very hard plastic, and uh, it's not something that your horses will damage or tear up. But it, they're very quiet, so it eliminates the rattle, which is the goal. Again, we're showing the, the stud gate, the rumber flooring, which I really like, and you will appreciate it as well. 
all the dividers are spring loaded, which means when you open the latch, they'll automatically pull over to the side of the trailer and they'll stay over to the side. You have two um, lights inside the horse area, one in the front, one in the rear, one also in the rear saddle compartment, and those are controlled by a switch on the back there. The walkthrough door, I don't know if you can notice this, but this floor, we elected to remove the carpet and install a mat in this trailer, which I, I love because the mat's just easier to clean. It's double walled and insulated throughout, which means you won't see any ribs in your horse area, nor any structural supports or uprights or ribs inside of the dress. That's because it's all insulated. It's all walled with a Galva-like product on the inside, aluminum sheets on the outside. And in the flooring itself, which is what I was getting to before I started rambling, uh, we elevate the floor so that it's level with the top of the dress door. And the advantage is it creates a really good sweep out feature. So you can just sort of sweep your dressing room out. There's no lift there, or very little. I love the lights uh, up high and down low. Of course, up high, if, uh, if you have a vehicle, maybe a couple cars back, they'll be able to uh, to see you. the load light we added. And then again, the switch is one switch controls your interior horse lights. The other switch will control that rear load light if you have that option. And these are horse safe switches because they're recessed. And they're also waterproof. Now, we found one of the strongest couplers that we could find. This is a 2 and 5 sixteenths inch size, which is uh, the largest ball size available, to my knowledge, in the States. You can do, a, I think, a 3 inch in Australia, but in, but in the U.S., a 2 and 5 sixteenths is what we offer. Uh, but I love the coupler. It does a great job. The safety cables, as opposed to a safety chain. The chain tends to drag, and the cable, because it's a pigtail cable, it'll curl up and sort of takes that slack out of there. Again, that chest bar just folds out of the way when not in use. Okay, that's all we have. Uh, thanks for your time. Give me a call toll-free 888-244-2029 or visit our website doubledtrailers.com. I would love to chat with you and have an opportunity to speak with you about designing your new custom trailer.